Hi, Rush developers, and welcome again to this Rush project series. Uh, in this video series, we're going to talk about OpenAI. And if you want to learn anything about Ross, the construct is your channel. You can find topics about navigation, drones, autonomous cars, anything you can think of related to Ross, you can find it here. So now we're going to the grand finale, which is, okay, what if I change the simulation and I wanted to do something totally different? It's the same procedure, exactly the same procedure. So let's do it. I'm going to launch, for example, this one, Turtlebot 2. And in the meantime, we're going to create. So what do I need? Do I need a robot environment? No, it's the exact same environment. Robot environment. So I do exactly the same thing I did here. Uh, yeah. So I, I use the TurtleBot 2 environment. But I'm going to create a new TurtleBot 2 task environment. Which, uh, if you have seen more example, uh, more or less what's here, we're going to create this wall. I'm going to explain in a second what it is. Okay, let's have a look. There we go. And we also need... I'm going to do it because I've explained more or less everything now so new file there we go and then the one of the wall there we go and also we need a launch file which is this one which is for launching it there we go Okay, perfect. So now, uh, what do we need? Well, let's have a look. Let's close all this. So now we are going to use, we are going to launch this launch, which launches my start Q learning wall, which is this one, which is exactly the same code for learning. So you're using, as far as QLearn algorithm is concerned, you're doing exactly the same. So you're recycling a lot of code. Actually, the, the correct way of doing it, the perfect way of doing this would be just have a class that handles this, uh, QLearn or your algorithm, whatever, and you would only have to change this tiny little parts. So as you can see here, I'm importing it from another Python file, which is my turtlebot 2 wall, and it's called differently this task environment. So let's have a look. So in this one, the same thing. We have to change this name, we have to change this name, and this one, and also this, which is the name of the file, my turtlebot 2 wall. You have it here, and this is the name of the class. And this is the name of the ID, which you're accessing it through here. Yep. So now, what do we want? So let's have a look. So we have this. So what's the problem? So we don't want it to... The, the, the maze policies of learning how to navigate through a maze don't work here. Why? Let's let's find out. So I'll just start this one, which is uh, the um, the maze one. So the one that we have, okay. We reset the code, and as you can see here, well, it's 
it's working I mean it's moving and but the problem is that we didn't put any limits on the space that it navigates this means that because it's not a maze it will go on and on and on to move if it doesn't crash with a wall which is highly improbable if it continues like this maybe if it turns a bit or maybe or maybe I don't know but the thing is it's not we can't use this okay so I'm going to close this and I'm going to say okay I'm going to create my own one which what do we want we want it to go to learn how to get here to this point so what I've created is for example in the config I've added this which was already there because you can use the same one and just import one or the other but you can you see desired pose so we want to go to this point which is 500 which essentially is here so it's one two three four five squares in x so we want it to go here to learn how to move here but we also need to put some imaginary square so that if it goes outside this square it it resets the simulation automatically yeah so we have to do this and also we have to reward it to getting close to the 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 point not only to turn and so on yeah so there are many many other po elements that the policy needs to be added to the task environment that's why it's a different totally different one so we have this so let's go over a bit what I've done and what I mean this is an example but you can do anything you want it's just an example of how to do it so the same thing we do exactly the same we get the parameters everything the same just that we are getting the desired point okay and we have to do some other stuff for example actions well it's the same actions so we don't have to change anything there get observations this is different because we need to know not only um, the laser data but also we have to know where it is because it's not the same it doesn't it it so it doesn't have to do the same thing if it's here or if it's here so if it's here it should turn to the right or to the left if it's here maybe it has to go straight yeah so and the laser readings maybe it's the same for example here and here the laser readings more or less would be the same as we have discretized it but the policy the actions should be totally different yeah and also we need the the position to to know if it went outside this imaginary box so we have to do this odometry so we get odometry and say well what's this function where it is defined it's defined in the turtle bot 2 environment this one which is uh, here third about two environment yeah and here you have many functions that you can but I, basically you can access all these sensors if you need them to learn without having to go to code anything absolutely anything so we go here and we say okay so oh, sorry so in the observations we get the position x and y and we round it with two decimals which I think it's enough and then we add it to this array of discretized laser scans and these are the observations now yeah okay so now what do we have to do well we have to change some stuff for example in the is done episode it's done is 
is done by this sorry the discretized observation which is uh, around here which basically detects if we crashed or not yeah that that system was exactly the same but now we have to check other things so for example if we are it outside the learning space so the current position has to be uh, less than the maximum x the y the z and so on uh, so the x and y and if it's okay great if not if it's outside the box then we have to mm, put the episode done and then if everything worked then we have to do if we are in the desired position if we are there then we also have to finish yeah and this is a function that i've defined here so all these functions that i need will be defined here in the task environment and there you go so in this case i'm just seeing if it's around the point that i the desired point with some epsilon so with some error yeah this is one and then we have to compute the reward so that we generate this behavior that makes the robot go to the point so we need if it's done if it's not done so if it didn't crash if it's inside the box and if it's not in the point then we give it points for going forward also turning but not that much but also we add more points if it decreased the distance from the from the current position to the, the desired point which we calculated this here yeah which with a, a function that it's not relevant now and now we add if this if that happens if it doesn't happen then we don't do anything we just add zero yeah but what if it was done we have two scenarios now one is that we got to the desired position so we have to give it points so there we go but what if uh, we so no this is correct yeah so we give it 200 points but if it's done and we're not in the point means that we are outside the box outside this box imaginary box that we defined or it crashed so we have to punish it and give it minus 200 points yeah and then we update the distance to the point and that's it so let's launch this and see what happens so now we have a an environment that a task environment that will not only reset if it crashes but also if it goes out the the space the working space so if for example i do this which to go faster it resets the simulation because it went outside the the y maximum for example if i go in the x negative it resets again yeah so now we have our own task environment that it's more suited for making this turtle bot learn how to get to this point here obviously we have to leave it learning for a very long time so that that's it in the description of, of the video you will find uh, a complete uh, a link to the complete course of OpenAI 101 and the future uh, OpenAI ROS package course we uh, if you like the video please leave us a thumbs up because it helps a lot it motivates us to keep doing videos and more videos and click that subscribe um, button if you didn't do it because we publish videos every day uh, about ROS related topics and I think that's quite it so in the next video we'll work on another robot using OpenAI ROS package so until then thank you and
Hasta la próxima.